Oh, Haruka, that was such a wonderful date. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> transforming into a magical girl in real life was that easy. Hey everyone, Miles J here and Broom! And today I'm going to be showing y'all how to be Sailor Neptune. AKA Michiru, AKA Michelle. Can you handle this? I don't think you can handle this. Woo! So originally the reason why I chose to be Sailor Neptune is because I already have teal hair and it was going to be really easy to do the costume and all that other stuff and then I started posting pictures of my progress on Instagram and a lot of people were like telling me that I was Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mercury and I was like what show were you watching? That was when I realized that Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune are very, very, very underrated characters. And I don't think very many people, like, remember, like, what they actually were. Which was, yes, a lesbian couple. So, with that being said, I'm going to give y'all the quick lowdown on Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. So, for those of you who haven't heard of Sailor Neptune or Sailor Uranus or Sailor anything or don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, Sailor Neptune is part of the Sailor Moon franchise. It's an anime. Came out, like, a long, long time ago, like, back in the 90s. So, Sailor Neptune is the alternate identity of Michiru Kairu. Or Kaio. <laughs> Excuse me. A teenage Japanese schoolgirl, she belongs to the Sailor Senshi. Say that three times fast. Female supernatural fighters who transform to protect the solar system and the protagonist, Sailor Moon. Sailor Neptune fights along her partner and lover, Sailor Uranus. She is portrayed as an anti-hero. Elegant, sophisticated, capable of sharp anger, occasionally cold, and fully dedicated to her duty as a sailor soldier. She possesses powers associated with the sea, precognitive ones, and various others granted by Mir, which I am still working on at the moment. Now that's just a quick little bio on Sailor Neptune. Now, the reason why some of y'all might be looking at me like what they are lesbians is because in some of the dubs around the world, they changed Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune's relationship because, you know, children were watching and they didn't think that children would get the concept of love between two people. Either way, it was dumb, because even though we were supposed to be cousins or best friends or whatever, you could still tell that we were in love, and you can't block that out. And without further ado, let's move on to the tutorial. So let's start out with the do-it-yourself accessories. So I received this Sailor Neptune cosplay costume from LightInTheBox.com and as you can see I really didn't get the right size. So what I did was I cinched in the back and clipped it in with a safety pin. And of course it would not be a sailor outfit without a super short skirt to show off your booty. And these were the accessories that came with the costume. And I mean they're okay but only if you want to look busted. So I decided to make my own tiara out of snail tape, which I didn't even know was a thing. So in order for it to fit my head, I put the snail tape on the middle of my head and stretched the snail tape to the side of my head to see where it was going to land in my hair. Once I was ready to go, I would just cut the end of the snail tape diagonally, and I had to be careful because if you cut it too diagonal, it's going to go shoot way it up into the sky, okay? So just make sure it's um, going to fit in your hair when you cut it diagonally. And I used the first cut piece as a stencil for the other pieces that I would cut. And I would just undo the white piece of paper on the back of it. And I would just tape them all on top of each other to reinforce the copper. It was still bendable, but nice and enforced. 
after that I just taped that gold liner on the ends of the tiara to give it some dimension and give it that nice tiara looking effect and then I just spray painted it with some 24 karat gold paint. Once the paint dried I just super glued a green gem to the middle of the tiara and some hair clips to keep it in my hair when I'm wearing it. On to the next step you're gonna need some dark green paint and a nice paintbrush. Cause we gonna be painting on these shoes! Now I got these shoes for like 8, 7 bucks at um, Goodwill. I was so lucky cause I found some of my size. These are size 11. That is like unheard of in the Goodwill. So anyway, um, make sure that the um, dark green paint that you get is a gloss finish. Because it's gonna make it nice and shiny looking after it's all dry. So um, while you paint it, just make sure you paint it in um, like the strokes that I'm doing right here. I, I'm, I'm not even sure if it really matters the strokes that you do because it kind of dries like non strokey But just make sure you cover um, every bit of it, every bit, so that way the under color of the shoe isn't showing. And this is the half finished product. And this is the full finished product. Now, after I painted the shoes, I just hot glued some green ribbon on them. Luckily, they had some green ribbon that matched with the shoe color I had. And I also used the green ribbon for the brooch necklace necktie choker thing that Neptune has. And I also used some snail tape and spray painted that for the little accessories that you see on the choker. And voila! You are done. Now it's time for Moosiara Makeup! Start out with a freshly washed, moisturized face. Before putting your makeup on, always put your contacts in. Now just go ahead and put on your favorite primer on your face. This will help make the makeup last all throughout the Halloween nights when you get them tricks and them treats. That's right. Now I'm just going to go through my normal foundation routine and I'm going to use this Studio Finish Foundation in NW40 by MAC. Get this nice sexy mustache. And I'm gonna move on and use my naked skin that I mixed with MAC foundation. And I'm gonna shake that up so that way it mixes nice and well. And I'm gonna put that all over my lips, my face, my entire face, and then just blend it down my neck. Going back to my concealer, I'm gonna pat this on the high points of my cheekbone, on my forehead, down my nose bridge, a little bit on the high point of my chin, and where my cupid spot is. Now taking this expensive sponge, I'm just gonna blend it out. I'll blend it out. It's called a beauty blender, but it's like just an expensive sponge, bro. Like, but it's good though. As you can see, it's really good. It feels good on my skin too. Moving on, I'm just gonna take the Studio Finish Powder in medium dark, and I'm just gonna pat this under my eyeball where my high points, my cheeks are. Create a nice contour on the forehead, basically all the places where I concealed. Next, I'm gonna use my Lorette Pro Palette in the color black, and I'm just gonna shade the underside of my cheeks, the cheeks that hollow my cheekbone. That thing. It's gonna create the next. I use black because you know I'm black, I'm brown, so it creates a nice shadow. Lastly, I'm gonna use my medium dark foundation just in moderation, and I'm just gonna blend it out. I blend it out. Now it's time for the eye. Using this Urban Decay Primer Poster, I'm just gonna pat this down on my eye. Ring finger, which is supposed to be the softest finger you have with all the fingers. And going back to the Loac Pro to Go palette, I'm just going to dabble this in the black again and shade in my eyebrows. You can get more precision if you use an angled brush. Black is going to create a nice base for the turquoise color that we're going to add on right now. My Color Tech 2 by Eye Studio. I'm really surprised with this product because it's very vibrant as you can see. And um, the black 
will help make the shadows and the tones look much more real than if I had just plastered on this teal by itself. Going back into that palette, we're just going to use this color called Shell. Just pat that all over our eyelid. Now I'm using this cheap ass white crayon thing. Um, I don't know where I got this. I don't know who it's from, but I know it was white. So I was like, I need this. This was very essential for the nice anime cartoony look, look, look and look. Um, as you can see right now, I'm trying to blend it out and it looks really chalky and gross. And that's because it is. Going back to the teal, we're just going to use our angled brush and pat this in our crease and blend it out into a cat eye effect. color unhinged in my Urban Decay Vice palette to give this teal some dimension. Look at that! In the moment, I decided to give it a little bit more of a pop by using this green color called Junkie in the Vice palette as well. And I'm just going to put that on the top part of the crease. Now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone to create a sharper brow with a champagne color and using Black Track by MAC <laughs> that rhymed. I'm just gonna line my eyes. This was a bitch to do while filming BTW. be using some false lashes i really hate putting false lashes on i'm gonna be real with y'all like they're so annoying but once they're on they look so good and i don't want to take them off but like good lord it's just look look at what i'm doing right now surprise we're putting on bottom lashes too these are actually much easier than the top lashes because i don't really have to close my eye for this but it's still kind of annoying to put them on too, so let's be real. After today's all, we're just going to use their real, which they're obviously not, mascara. Um, and we're just going to blend our eyelashes, our real eyelashes, with our fake ones and create a nice flawless lash looking effect. It's going to be nice and crude. And now the eyes are done. This has to be my favorite blush quad because it's the only one I have. So I'm just going to use the lightest pink color in the blush quad to um, paint my cheeks. And I'm gonna, going, to go in a little bit, going to go in with a highlight uh, with this fan brush because it looks pretty. And I don't know if I'm actually supposed to use that brush for this. But whatever, it's cute. And once the whole face is finished, put on your lip gloss. Lip gloss is poppin', my lip gloss is cool. So this hair has some naggly, wavy, wag splag in it, and it's not cute. So, you're just gonna brush it out, you know, get them tangles out, and then you're gonna just kind of straighten it through real quick to make sure when you get your waver, I mean, you start waving, that it doesn't look all crinkly and shitty and shit. Make sure to put that heat protected in your hair before you start straightening and waving and shit. It's gonna get really hot up in this bitch. Now that you look straight and beautiful, you're gonna tie your hair back. So tie your hair back in the top portion of your hair to big sections. Um, and you're just gonna start from the bottom. And now you here. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. But you're actually not gonna start from the bottom. You're actually gonna start from the top of the hair and make your way down, down to the merry-go-round. So I don't know the rest of the song, I'm sorry. And once you get to the bottom of your hair, you're gonna have a little wave that looks like this is so amazing. So just do this all around your head and make sure in between waving your hair, you um, sit there for at least 15 to 
30 seconds maybe like 10 to 15 seconds actually to be more honest i don't know i don't want your head to break off of like that one girl we all saw that video horror come to life and boom your hair gonna look like this it's just so cute <laughs> so afterwards you're just gonna get your pomade i got some gatsby pomade it smells like apples it's so delicious um and i'm just gonna take a little bit off the top and i'm just gonna rub it in my hands warm it up in my hands and just shoot the dupe like what i'm doing right now i can't figure out the word just put it in the hair like this now everything is finished put on your accessories Put on your gloves. And now you are Sailor Neptune. Thanks for watching. <laughs> now let's check back in with Sailor Neptune. Kicking bad guy ass. <laughs> Deep submerge. <laughs> Fire. That was for Uranus. So before I go, I just want to say sorry for being gone for so long. I just needed to reevaluate some things. Some changes are going to be happening to this channel soon. Um, some good changes. Um, so, you know, just sit tight and um, enjoy, okay? And also, lastly, lastly, very lastly, I just want to give a huge thanks to Light in the Box for um, supplying me with this outfit, this amazing outfit, and these gorgeous brushes and this brush pack thing. And they also gave me another shirt. Oh, okay. And they also gave me this shirt, which is um, beautiful, by the way. Um, so if you want to check out lightinthebox.com, just go down. The link is in the description, so just check that out real quick. Um, if you guys want a sailor costume or um, any of that other good stuff. Happy Halloween! So spoopy! Say goodbye, Sailor Uranus! Bye! And this has been Beauty for Your Booty! Subscribe!